In this video, we're going to see the order in which Excel will perform the operations using the operators that we've seen in the previous video. As I've mentioned, the most important thing in a formula is to remember that it always starts with an equal sign. After that equal sign, the general rule is that Excel will perform operations from left to right in a particular order following rules that we will see next. After the equal sign, the, uh, the operators that have precedence over the others are the reference operators. If you remember, I'm referring here to the colon, the space, or the comma. The ones that have to do with range of cells. The second in precedence is the negation. So negative numbers uh, also come before other types of operators. Followed by the percent, the exponentiation, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, uh, the connector, ampersand, and the comparison symbols. Now, in the case that we have operators from the same category, for example, if we have a multiplication and a, and a division, the order in which we perform them is from left to right. So the first one on the left is the one to be performed first, because they are of the same level. The interesting thing happens when parentheses are involved, because like in math, parentheses influence the order in which these operators are performed. So these rules here no longer apply when we're talking about parentheses. To uh, make that clearer, take this formula for example, 5 plus 2 multiplied by 3. As such, we know that the first operation uh, to be performed is going to be the multiplication. Excel is going to, to think in terms of 5 plus 6, which equals 11. However, if we introduce uh, parentheses in the formula and we put this sum in parentheses, it automatically gains precedence over the multiplication. So the result is going to be thought more in terms of 7 multiplied by 3. So it's going to equal 21. These rules are similar to the math rules and like as in math, we remember that multiplication and division take precedence over addition at, and subtraction. But when parentheses are involved, even in math, that those rules no longer apply and parentheses gain precedence. And finally, let's see a more complex examples involving both parentheses and more advanced operators. We have an addition here between the value of cell B4 uh, and 25 in parentheses divided by the sum of a range, the, a range of cells between D5 and F5. It may look more complex, but if we replace these cell names and ranges with their respective numbers, it, this is going to make a lot more sense. But the important thing to remember is that we will start by doing the addition within the parentheses and finally these two values will be divided. All this information about the types of operators and their precedents can be found on the Excel support page or can be downloaded from the course page at wix.com. I invite you to take a look at what we've seen so far, the types of operators. Also, you can try different formulas. Remember to always start with the equal sign and put these four types of operators to the test using tables and different data. Also, review what we've seen so far because from now on we will delve deeper in formulas and functions.